Hello and welcome to a roulette of a different kind. He's Russian this time. One of you may die. I am your host, Michael Riley. With me is Dan for Joan. I don't think I want to be here if I, if I might die. <laughs> and Jason Amherst. Uh, well, sure beats the direction this country's going in. Hey, <laughs> down the sheeter. <laughs> Did you? Did either one of you happen to see the first trailer for the best Christmas pageant ever movie? Uh, no, I haven't. Well, get one of my little buddies. Oh boy, is in that Matthew Lamb, who was our five in our an American Tale reading, is in the movie. Oh neat. yeah. Superstar. Uh, you might have noticed, by the way, uh, before we switched over to the game, that the wheel has uh, the actual game logos on it this time. So I decided to spruce it up a little bit instead of just doing Well, that stuff. would be lovely if we could actually see the You guys can't see the now. wheel. You'll see it when it airs. Uh, well, believe, yeah, we got to wait like 60 more. This airs in uh, early August. Yes, plus prosperity and complacency. The world spins and time moves on. Why is, why is Meatwad narrating this? And this time, there was no way zero to rise against it. Meatwad, oh, I told you not to read the text on the stream. I didn't, I didn't listen. This is my job, Jack. I don't, see, look, you made me miss. And what, are they, miss and what, are they, and what are they paying you, Meatwad? Are they paying you in dust bunnies again? A rice, Hell. chicken. Chicken or rice. Yeah, it don't matter. No, this matters. matters. What fucking game is this? Can we? Can, you, can you give me a clue? <laughs> uh, it has the number sixty-four in the title. <laughs> oh. Um. Custer's Revenge sixty-four. No, that's close. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Beat him and eat him sixty-four. Oh, you're you're getting warmer. Uh, Bass Hunter sixty-four. Uh, it's on the wheel, but it's not it. <laughs> jackal! 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 It's a jackal! Oh, it's Shadow, Shadow Game. Shadow Game. Ah. Uh, that was my next. Yep. I had a feeling it was Shadow Gate because of the art direction, but... <sighs> well, there's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a few of these types of games on the wheel today, so let's see. We'll see how it goes. This is still the uh, intro. This is kind of sort of a like pseudo uh, like survival horror-ish I think. Something like that. Mm, dead people. My favorite. Oh, my favorite. Oh, my favorite. <laughs> we went to see we went to see the movie Speed Racer, and never we never recovered. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jew, you're finally awake. Mm. <laughs> You've been unconscious since 2016. <laughs> oh, no! He's about to take an arrow to the knee. That's not good. I think Those the, damn Apaches. Those I, goddamn Apaches. Mm. Oh, he's hunting for head. Hmm. So I can't help but notice. Um, at, well, first of all, as we record this, it is July 1st. Yes. <laughs> and there's a new episode of... Happy July, everybody, um, even though it's August. <laughs> Shut up, man. There's a new episode of Backseat Gamer up. Uh-huh. And the title is Dane is an Airplane. Uh-huh. And it's one of those things where I go, what What did I do to necessitate this joke? <laughs> I don't even remember. It, that's... And that's the thing with these the, with these recordings is that we record them and then we promptly forget everything we ever said. And then... Did when I they, step away or something? And that's <laughs> I what? don't have any idea. Because uh, I didn't get a chance to scan through the episode today to see what it was about. 
Because once I finish editing them and uploading them to YouTube, they get erased off of my hard drive. So <laughs> it's because they're up on YouTube now. So what does it matter? What's um, going on with this guy? Uh, I think he's. Yeah, uh, what's up with Queasy Moto there? Uh, Queasy Moto. <laughs> Cheesy moto. Oh no! You should watch. Uh, you should watch then. Hmm. Um. But yeah, because these oh, episodes no. episodes are airing right now. We got it's it's like a four week turnaround <clears throat> from a record to air date, roughly. <clears throat> so we're not gonna remember what happens in the episode. So when we when it, when one airs and then we see the title of it and it's just like, huh? And even I'll forget because even even if. Because I I will, I'll edit them like a week or two later and then still forget. So there's got to be a way out of mm. here. There must be some kind of way there's out of here. Way out of here. Said the Said Joker them. to the Joker to the. I'll disturb hey, you, dude. Wake up, asshole! Hey, fuck face. Hey, shit stain ass whippy. Uh, hey, a newcomer and a halfling to boot. My name's Agar. I'm a magician. What's your name? Dell? You say? I wish I could greet you under better circumstances. Hmm. Traveling with a trade caravan while you were beset with thieves. You're lucky that mm. you're still alive, Dell. Aye, lucky indeed. <laughs> Aye, it is blue. It's, uh, I, I, it's, it's supposed to be, like, I think, English accent, but I'm reading it clearly as, uh, <laughs> Tony Montaigne. <laughs> You're lucky. Joe man. Montaigne, man. Joe Montaigne. It would you... be quite a shame if you heard a rustling at the door to your cell. <laughs> Food. Quite a shame. That Tony? Time to That's eat. right. <laughs> Halfling, enjoy it while you. Oh, okay. Sorry. I've heard that the toy shall start tomorrow. I don't know why they waste time on you. What do you think, tight lip Tommy? <laughs> I ain't saying or whatever, anything. Or whatever that character's name is. If I had my way, I would have... You motherfucker. It's a shame to waste good food on someone like you. <laughs> well, that's pretty fucked up. That is. That is fucked up. What is that character's name that won't say nothing? I don't know. Was his name tight lips? Uh, I think... Yeah, it was like Joey tight lips, <sighs> I thought. Pay no attention to him, my friend. What's that? Why, you're within a castle. Oh my god, is this a castle that just has all Tony, Joe Montaigne's everywhere? Yeah. Castle Shadowgate, to be exact. Legendary center. Yeah, it's Johnny Tight Lips. For all of Cal Torlin. Outwits? Uh, wow. <laughs> but huh. it's, it's nothing but a haunt for thieves and treasure seekers now. Hey, sure. You see, the magic items are made by the Sorcerer Lachmir are said to be hidden here. Some say they can be found in the Four Towers, which no one has entered Ooh. for years. Oh my. These towers have been sealed by magic. Nobody can get in. Believe me, I've tried. I, I've tried. I tried. I tried. <laughs> I've tried. That's why I'm in here. I tried to break the wards and hurt some thieves. I can tell you they are not too happy with me right now. But enough yeah. talk. Have at you. <laughs> no. I need to conserve my strength. They shall come for me soon. What? You're literally just sitting there. What? 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 You know, like you're not doing fucking jumping jacks. Okay. It looks like the meat of some kind of beast. Sure. Mister Beast. Yum, yum, yum. Eat that bitch. <gasps> Wait a minute. You can use that. You gag to on maybe... the greasy meat. Ugh. Maybe you could uh, use that to pick the, the lock? That is a distinct possibility. Oh, my God. Is this going to be one of those point and click bullshitty shit, 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 uh, shit It's shit It's thing? first person controls, so it controls like Turok. Yeah. I wonder if there's some place in this room I could dig. Hey, Johnny Tight Lips, how do we get out of here? I ain't saying nothing. 
I mean, this is kind of crucial that you, you tell us how to get the fuck out of here, t- Johnny uh, Tight oh. Pussy or whatever. Oh! Uh, yeah. Uh, apparently, uh. according to the Simpsons wiki, it's uh, Johnny Tight Lips. His birth name is Giovanni Silencio. Yeah, I get it. Whoa, look at all these yes. items you have. And his I, uh, legal name is Jonathan Schmalippi. Schmalippi. Wait a minute. What do you mean it can't be used here? I gotta pry the gate off. It's a crowbar. It's perfect. The fucking crowbar. God damn it. You All wouldn't, right. Mr. Riley, you wouldn't happen to uh, be cheating now, would you? Maybe. Ah. Uh, Hey, you got it, though. Crest key, huh? Hmm. Chris Humberman's helmet. Mm. What was that? It's a crest on Birdman's helmet. <laughs> Thank you, Peter McNichol. You're welcome. You shake the putrid water from your clothes as you look around the dank sewers. These are some dank ass sewers. Uh, you don't see Fantastic Four going through the sewers. You don't see Batman going through the sewers. <laughs> Ooh, gas. You, you, maybe, maybe you might see Blue Beetle going through the sewers or Morbius. But not Zach that. Roddy, what do they call Ooh, gas in Scotland? An apparition appears. Seems very agitated, but you can't understand the ghost. Oh, this is a weird cool. ass game. Great conversation, Ghost Buddy. Ghost Buddy, you'll get caught up in the. Ghost Buddy. Ghost Buddy. You'll get caught up in it. <laughs> I guess I'm going in here. I guess I'm going in here. Boy, this is fucking exhilarating stuff. I know. It's it's Shadowgate. I paid for my Whoops. entire chair. Oh. Oh. And game over. <laughs> you can't swim? I guess not. I, I do have a lot of shit. <sighs> Oh wow, this is a back to the beginning type of game, huh? All right. Are you are you fucking kidding me? Can I just hit continue? Maybe. Oh nope. All right, nope. New game. All right, cool. All right, we don't, nope, need, to, nope. we don't need to see this shit again. Zero, zero, zero. Fuck, fucking yeah. zero. Turd. Two out of ten. If I if I knew that this was gonna happen, I would have done a diarrhea card. Uh, this game was designed by Infinite Ventures and the original NES development team. Well, they should be ashamed of themselves. Yeah. This is... Uh, GameSpot gave it a 4.6 out of 10, IGN 6.2 out of 10, N64 Magazine a 43%, and Next Generation 2 out of 5 stars. Oof. Uh, N64 Magazine called the game very dull and frustrating because it has many instances of instant death but still praised the atmosphere Next Generation stated nothing especially wrong here but nothing you haven't seen done before and better nothing especially wrong Are are you sure about that uh Shadowgate Rising was developed for the N64, but never released. Originally intended to be a sequel, the project was abandoned because the N64 was soon to be replaced by the GameCube. Oh, wait a second. Shadowgate was an NES game too, wasn't it? Yes. Yep. It was was way more point and click. It was more like um, the detective... What was the detective game? The the point and click? Um... 
Yeah, this is this is a sequel to the original point and click uh, Shadowgate, originally published for the Macintosh as part of the Mac Venture series. Yeah, are you talking about like? So this is a long. It was a long deja vu, like uninvited deja vu. Deja vu, yeah. Yep. Which I remember uh, being actually black very. Thing. I like deja vu. Yeah, deja vu was a lot of fun. We actually played through it once. And you beat it too. Uh, I beat it. Yeah, I, I do Your remember color that. Color version was released on Amiga and Atari ST, and then later in 1989 for the NES. The here's my uh, here's my piece of advice. Just because you can remake a game on the N64 doesn't mean oh, you this should. is a sequel. Oh, even worse. God, it's, this is reminding there, me there of... Were, there were two sequels, Beyond Shadowgate, which came out on the TurboGrafx CD, uh-huh. and Shadowgate 64. Can we just get Beyond Shadowgate? Ah. Uh, Lord, this is giving, me, uh, was this is giving me vibes of King's Quest. And now Probably. I will sing the, the, the song, the Thunderdome song. Okay. Bah, bah, there's no easy way out. Dun, dun, there's no shortcut home. Wait, that might be the Holy that, crap. that might be Rocky the too, original, uh, The original Mac Shadowgate was ported to the Playdate handheld. I see. I see. It was also ported to the Game Boy Color. I see. Said the blind man to his deaf wife, who picked up his hammer and saw. There was even a VR game in 2021. Jeez, Shadowgate just doesn't die. It just comes back every so many years. There were six years between those games. Six years. And then, and then six years. And then also six years. Six, yeah, actually... Six years between each game up until Shadowgate Classic, and then another nine years before whatever 2014's Shadowgate was, and then another seven years before Shadowgate VR, The Minds of Mythrock. Hmm. Huh. And I guess there's now a new Beyond Shadowgate that's based off of design documents from 1990 and unrelated to TurboGrafx-16 version. Ah, I found the right... Well... I, I found the correct tool. To, uh... Fall over! Yay! Sploosh. <laughs> An appar- it's the agitated ghost! Casper, the agitated ghost. The agitated is ghost, I know. What he's agitated about, I don't- Oh, dear. Oh, Maybe that was his body. Possibly. <laughs> that was Boogie2298's career. Oh. <laughs> with, his, with his shit coin. Shit coin. What, what was he calling it? Fatty? So you too Something. can buy some fatties. Oh, it's a joke, but it'll be worth something to collectors. It's a pump and dump scheme because this dude blew all of his money on crypto originally. Still somehow has followers and can't afford to pay for his cancer treatments. You know, you would think he would have looked at himself and go, let's see, either crypto money or cancer treatment. Hmm. I think he was diagnosed with cancer after losing the money to crypto. 
Oh, that's even worse. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of worse, this is like deja vu, but worse. All right. Uh, thoughts on Shadowgate 64? Dane? This was fucking terrible. It's very rare that... Uh, it's actually Kemco. Like, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's very rare that I dump this much on a game that Mike plays. Usually I try to find the good in something, but this, this is terrible. Fucking terrible. Jason. It's just terrible. Yeah. Now, like, there's, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Like, point and click games can be good. Point and click games that control, like, sluggish first person shooters and look dreary and dank like this. Like, just no. Just, just no. Yeah, the only the one good thing about this game that I could say, I suppose, is that it controls well. I mean, it it controls like every other first person shooter on N sixty four. You uh, just use the C buttons to walk and the controls to turn around. So it's basically a twin stick uh, first person game. Uh, outside of that, mm-hmm. it's really slow. It's really plodding. Um, Dying and having to start over is a very NES thing that should, by 1999, should not be a thing. Um, outside of that, uh, I could, of course, I guess I could have saved, but well, who's going to save 30 seconds into a game? I mean, that's stupid. Shouldn't have to do that. Uh, so, Excuse score me, I have to take the scores ball, out of 10. I give it a zero. All right, Jason. Zero. Yeah, zero. All right. I mean, it's it's only up from here, I suppose. Let's find out what we're playing. Oh boy. All right. Okay. We still have six diarrhea cards, just so we're aware. Uh. This just feels down and dirty seeing Microsoft on an N64 card. That is weird. This is supposed to be a racing game? I don't know. I don't think I've ever played this. (laughs) Uh... Guessing there's some secret options. Legal options. Uh, oh. Yeah, I thought I could sue somebody for making Shadowgate 64. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, so the original PC release was in 96. And yeah, oh, it was shit. a Microsoft game. Check it. Oh, wow. The fucking WCW Sting uh, monster truck is in this. I got to play as that, I think. Wow. I was not expecting that. Uh, Just go random. Random. So, yeah, I guess this... uh, Yeah, it's a racing game. Oh, it chose pitch black for me, I think. Uh, First entry... In Microsoft, what the hell? Oh my Why god! Is visibility such... Why it's, is visibility I, crap? It's it shows pitch black, and pitch black is apparently th- this dark. The hell? It's so dark. I can't I see. see. Shit. Yeah, I can't see. I might have to actually just reach. Uh, this, might... uh. Oh, no, that doesn't restart. the Madness the... series of racing games, including Motocross Madness and Midtown Madness. Terminal Reality would also do 4x4 Evo. Okay. Alright, I am gonna. I'm gonna stick with the. What else? What other trucks are there? 
Grave Digger. Okay. Uh, Bigfoot, Grave Digger, Snape. Uh, Carolina snake Crusher, bike. Boogie Van. Yes, yeah, Bigfoot. Barefoot. Police Truck, Wildfoot. There's the I didn't stinger. know Barefoot was a thing. Yeah. Uh, day. Clear. <laughs> that way I can see shit. Uh, there we go. Sure pitch black. Yeesh. Hey, Goodyear Blimp. It's a good it's a good Mountain Dew flavor, but it's not good for driving in. Yeah. Pitch black means I can't see shit. Yeah. I can understand how that would make it really difficult, but god damn. There's no need for that. Eh. Huh. So originally, uh Terminal Reality developed an alien-themed combat flight simulation game called Terminal Velocity. God damn it. Published by 3D Realms for MS-DOS. Um, and then started making games for Microsoft, including Fury Cubed and Hellbender. Um, oh my lord. Getting mixed reviews similar to... Terminal Velocity and Wing Commander 3, Heart of the Tiger. Uh, then an unreleased DOS product called Heavy Metal Truck. But they renamed it Monster Truck Madness and developed it for Windows 95. Oh my god, I hate this. This is a Windows 95 game on an N64. Yeah, it controls like a Windows 95 game too. Oh my god! I turn a little bit and then it just the whole truck just like goes to like 180 degrees. Man. It's got the real sting painted all okay. over, but it handles like the fake sting. Technically, this is Monster Truck Madness 2. Okay. Yeah, apparently uh, Edge of Reality partnered with Rockstar Games for the N64 port of Monster Truck Madness 2, which is why Microsoft's name is seen at the beginning, but also Rockstar. What, uh, what do we got here? What's this? Uh, Monster, Monster Truck, Truck Madness, Madness 64. Yeah. Are you Grave Digger? Are you, Monster Truck are you Madness Digger? Two. I am Stinger, actually. Stinger. Oh. Yeah, this featured wrestle trucks. Monster Trucks named after WCW talent. Remember, folks, at one point... Maybe there the were more unlockables in the game? I don't know. At one point during the height of the NWO, there was a NASCAR driver who was technically an NWO member. Huh. Who did oh wind up in the NWO? I mean, God. you also had Dennis Rodman, too. I can't remember his name. I just know he drove a quote-unquote NWO-themed NASCAR car. Uh. These controls look kind of... Uh, they're extremely frustrating. I literally did not turn that far around. What the fuck? Uh, Kyle Petty. There you go. The NWO NASCAR. That, which was only in the 1997 Bush series. For God's sakes! Come on! Uh... Fellas, I hate to alarm yeah, you, but I, I hate to alarm you, but this game is kind of stinky. Yeah. What do you expect for a Windows 95 game somehow ported over onto the N64? Yet oh. this franchise went no, on to what? get four entries. I just want to turn a little bit, and I turn a little bit, and then it turns like a whole shitload. Or doesn't turn at all. And I'm just like, what the fuck, man? This is ass. This is going to be one of those recorders, isn't it? Where we just play ass, ass, ass? Yeah, I feel like... 
Huh. This studio went on to also make Blood Rain. Hmm. Oh yeah, Edge of Reality. Yeah, they did. They did do that. I'm That's a at, way better game. Uh, and Aeon Flux. Really? I forgot that was a game, actually. <laughs> uh, Blair Witch Volume 1. I would like to forget that was a game. Press A to stand in the corner. <laughs> uh, some SNK compilations. King Press, of Fighters Collection, the Orochi Saga. <laughs> Press Metal B to Slug turn this into the Bear Wench Project, which would be much more fun. Uh, Ghostbusters, the video game. Hmm. Oh, no. Oh. Connect Star Wars. Def Jam Rap Star. Sounds pretty bad. Oh, God, I'm on a tree. Dead survival Instinct. Ugh. I'm looking at the list of games that we uh, have. Canceled games include uh, Demonic, which appeared in the movie Grandma's Boy, and Sundown, which was supposed to be co-developed with Guillermo del Toro. Now that would have been pretty cool. Supposedly, according to del Toro, the game would have been similar to Left 4 Dead. Ooh. Can you imagine Guillermo del Toro doing a Left 4 Dead game? I would, uh, I would buy that in a, I would buy that in a hot second. I can't back up. That would be great if the game played well. Well, right. I mean, yeah, of course well, the game would have to act. Uh, for um, God's sakes. Yeah, the. They Listen, when the Goodyear blimp is making better progress than you, it's pretty bad. Ah! Oh. oh, oh my! <laughs> pretty God, sure these trucks are never driven in forces this big. No. This game is making like. Shadow Game look like Legend of Zelda. <laughs> oh. Oh, this is fucking... Morbid, morbid curiosity has given us two stinkers in a row. Ugh. And somehow we still have six diarrhea cards. Again, if I knew what we were getting ourselves into... I had a vague feeling, but I, I wanted to see where it would go. I didn't realize that it would have been such a slog. It's too bad I had to step out to take a phone call or else I... <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, spawn me again right in front of the fucking tree so I can't get around it. Fuck. God, you piece of shit! These what trucks are say? never on courses this open. What do you have to say for yourself, game? I'm disabled. This game needs a... <laughs> Dick up my dad and suck on his bony dick. I hate it. <laughs> Did you say pick up my dad's suckered scaby dick? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Only like two of those words are correct. <laughs> I said dig up my dad and suck on his bony skeleton dick. <laughs> no, Michael! <laughs> get get, get fucking bitch! Uh, oh, it, oh, Bin Laden was a cunt. He was. Hang on for what? Oh Jesus! Ooh, this game. When the game has a built-in mechanic to do that, that's how sucky this is. It controls. Oh my god. Uh, what was it? Rollover Daytona? Is that what he just did? Oh, and there were items in this game like Mario Kart? Uh, fuck if I know. I don't know how any of them work. Oh, suddenly I'm a ghost? Yeah. Is that what this is? You're a ghoul? I mean, that is, but hey, that's pretty cool.
<laughs> That's it. I'm fucking over this. I'm dr- going to drive out into the... I'm driving off the course. I am driving out into the nothingness. Farewell, Sting. Farewell. I have looped around and I'm now on the other side of the course. The question is... Is this somehow worse than big rigs over the road racing? I don't know. That's a high bar. Or, or low bar, depending on who you ask. Yes. Oh, no. I desecrated a grave. Oh, God. Grave digger's going to be pissed. I'll we'll just dig another one. Dig a hole, dig a hole, dig a hole. There you go, hold there, go, hold there. I would like to direct your attention to the timer in the upper left hand corner to tell you how long I've been driving on this fucking track. Well, I mean, when you picked pitch black, it was impossible to play, so. Oh, yeah, originally, we originally gave me pitch black conditions, so I couldn't fucking play it then. It's still impossible to play, and I can see fine. That's the problem. Having low visibility just makes it. Driving, it's a shitty driving game in low visibility. I give this a two. I give this game a negative five. Uh (laughs) Oh my god. How did you you take a piece of a gate with you? How did that. Because fuck it. I don't want to fuck it. Yeah, all right, Vietnam. Well, fuck it, Vietnam. It's a real place. Bob Verdi V, New Nork, New Nork. What does that even mean? I don't know. You Nork, you Nork? New York, New York. No, turn, you fuck. No! God damn it. You York, you York. It's a hell of a town. <laughs> I want to go to New Snork City. Fuck around with the snorks. <laughs> fuck around and find <laughs> out. Suck <laughs> my balls with the snorks. That's hey, what this. Is, that's, that's exactly what this hey, game uh, does. Snorks, what do you do with that thing up there? I was you just gonna say they know. were just they were just Smurfs that lived underwater. <laughs> Come on, can you go five feet without turning so far? Oh my lord! <laughs> oh. We thought Sting got lost for a second there. Carolina Crusher not only won the race, he had time to go eat dinner, come back, and watch me finish. <laughs> and and masturbate, probably. While, while eating dinner. Oh, yeah, the yeah. steak is so fucking good. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Right. Well, I just got some worship for sure. Thoughts on monster fuck bullshit, Dane? Um... I thought Shadow it was terrible. This, this is just incompetent. These controls were terrible. I, how did this get Nintendo's seal of approval? I, I don't know. Jason. Uh, buttloads of cash from Microsoft and Rockstar. Because remember, at the time, Nintendo really trusted Rockstar. DMA Design was part of their dream team of people who were supposed to bring Nintendo into the future until they chose cartridges over They blew it big time with this one. I have played some very poor handling racing games in my time, but I think this takes the cake. This was, without a shadow of a doubt, the worst handling game I have ever fucking played in my life. It's so terrible. I could take a drizzling shit and co- and control it better than this game controls. 
I could Ooh. write my name in the snow with my anus in poop and probably do a better job than this game does with its controls. Please don't do that. Scores out of 10, Dane. Zero. Jason. Zero. If I could give it a negative, I would, but zero will suffice. Oi. God in heaven, please, please. We need a... We, Let this third game be somewhat even decent. We need a hero. We're holding out for a hero in the dead of the night. Uh, and it's got to be good, and it's got to be strong. Uh, and it's going to be golden fucking nugget. <laughs> diarrhea card. Uh, card. Yeah. Oh, Hard. wow. I didn't even flip oh. over the screen. So you're not even going to get to see it, folks at home. I didn't even get the chance to flip over the screen before. It was got... fucking Golden Nugget 64. There. Golden Turd Nugget. So we're down Games to five. Games people play. Yeah, maybe in real life when they want to lose money. <laughs> or, if, or, or if their grandparent was senile at a toy store and saw it on sale and said, I think little Jimmy would like this. He got you the golden nugget, Jimmy. All right, that free spin right. space is now an extra card. So if it lands on it. Thanks, Grandma. All right. This this actually might be good. A, lo any, a lobotomy would be better than the last two games we played. That is true. What's this? A uh, rumble pack is not inserted. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I can get I can get behind this. <sighs> oh. Listen, I'm not really big on load runner, but okay, whatever. L listen, after the last two games we played, Jason. Okay. I'll take a I'll take a I'll lay, I'll take a hundred load runners before I take one monster truck madness. Mike will take a hundred loads to the <laughs> God damn it. I was going to say, that is the most generic computery noise ever. Considering that I heard that noise in Jet Force Gemini as well. Shit happens. go level one uh so i'm assuming i because i know load runner was a 2d game at some point i'm assuming i have to yeah. do like no, like going back to like the apple II and the amiga st and even the right. nes because it was quite popular in japan uh the uh, NES game, or rather Famicom version, allowed you to, I believe, make custom levels and share them with people. And I think it was via the Famicom disk system. I could be wrong. But, I mean, yeah. Um. Oops. You, you were out of blaster shots, I think. Uh, or I wasn't far enough away to uh, uh, detonate one. Dude. -do. Where do I go now? Elevator oh. up. <gasps> Elevator down. Yeah, oh. you're out of shots. Are you sure that's what it is and not that I'm too far away or not or too close? Because I'm pretty sure that you have infinite shots. I don't know. It just it sounded like a like a because there there was like a thing showing up on the screen that made it look like you were out of energy or something, right? 
What is this? What is this thing you're collecting there? I have, I don't know. Some sort of token, like a, it. It must be like this game's coin or something like that. Oh, I need six more. You need six. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay, I gotta figure out how to do the strategery. Strategically. That's a word, yes. There we go. Got it. Yeah. I think it's just that you can't blow them up if you're too close. Okay. Hurrah! Good job! Great job. <sighs> uh, okay, nope. That was definitely not what I was supposed to do. I'm dead. Dead. Uh -oh. Or my balls with the snorks. Woo! one of the badges I need to do the next world. Uh, I don't think that was what I was supposed to do. Hold on. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. I have fucked myself. Well, just wait here for death. You got a very nihilistic point of view. Before you fuck yourself. Oh, there is a camera. Tuck yourself in. Hooray. Okay. Pee and poop with the snorks. Damn it. Grow back. Okay. Damn it. Mulligan. I believe it is National Canada Day also. It is Canada Day, you're right. Congratulations to Mark Leadhill for living in Canada. Canada. Canada, yes. Yes. America's, America's warm hat. I don't know what the hell's going on. Ha ha. I have done it. Yay! Yay! I'm just going to say it right now. Even though this game is... Oh. Oh dear. I think you're fucked. Yep, there you go. Yep. Even though this game is no great shakes, it's a fuck ton better than Monster Truck Madness and Shadow Beat. That's for shit sure. That is not where I needed to blow up. Hey, look, it's a crystal. That's crystal, you numbskull. <laughs> Boner level. Is it? Oh, it is. Oh. I'm not... I don't see myself getting hard right now. I'm wondering what's going on. Skimmy be Bob, do 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 way bear. 
Layla. You got me on my knees, Layla. You're pushing all like my cheese. It's <laughs> awful. Layla. You got me on my cheese. Layla. One moment your I have to. You, you, what? <laughs> I don't know. Leave me alone. Played three. We played two terrible games in one mediocre game. What do you want from me? Uh. A nice tall glass of juice. Okay, hang on. Let me go get. Thank you. Oi, this is refreshing. Refreshing. Here you're going. Mm. So, uh. That's good. That's next good year, AEW Dynasty is getting upgraded. Okay. It will now be Wrestle Dynasty, and it will be held in Japan as a crossover between. DMLL, Stardom, Ring of Honor, AEW, and New Japan. Ooh, that's a star-studded lineup. Yeah. They they kind of tried doing that with uh, Forbidden Door, which was entertaining, exhausting, but entertaining, as if you included the pre-show starting at 6.30, you had five and a half hours. Five and a half hours? Am I doing the math right on that? Yeah, five and a half hours packed with 15 matches. Yeah. That's a little too much even for me. Yeah, no, I was I was so tired after that. Did you say 15 and a half matches? No, no, five and a half hours. With 15 matches. I misheard the. Well, the half match was a was a was match Jer with uh... Jericho wrestling with his dignity. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <coughs> it was nice watching him lose again. Uh, thoughts on Load Runner 3D, Dane? Um, it was. Better than Monster Truck Madness and Shadowgate. Doesn't mean it was a very good game, but it wasn't like soul crushingly, mind numbingly, balls achingly bad. Jason. This was a very mid game, especially because I don't know if the original Load Runner was sci fi at all. Plus, I think there were enemies in that game. So. Yeah, no, like, I, I don't really know what to think of this other than meh. There was an enemy there in that last level. I, uh, kill, I killed it with a, I just with a kind of block. Like zonked out. Yeah, there was there was enemies. Um, Yeah, it's it's fine. It's a puzzle platformer. I mean, what do you want me to say about it? It's, it's definitely better than the last two we played. Scores out of 10, Dane. Or. Jason. I'll give it a three. On this edition of the show, we played Shadowgate 64, Monster Truck Madness 64, and Load Runner 3D. Best game of the episode, Dane? By default, Load Runner 3D. Jason? Default, unfortunately. Yep, Load Runner you know wins. Screw it. Huh? I'd, I'd, I'd actually I'd rather play uh, Monster Truck. Oh, wow. It looked like a train wreck. All right, well, there you go. Uh, th thank you for joining us for this edition of Retro Roulette. If you like what we do, please hit subscribe. Be sure to hit the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. For Dane, for Joan, and Jason Amherst, I'm Mike Riley saying see you next time on Retro Roulette.